it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday, and today I'm showing you five ways to use the small pouch from the 12 Little Three Pouch Trio. This was not a video that I planned on doing, but I've gotten so many requests for it that I figured I aim to please, so let's go ahead and do this. This week I'll be doing the smallest pouch. Next week I'll be doing the medium pouch that has the insulated lining, so I'll be showing you what bottles fit in there and things like that. And then two weeks from now I'll be doing the largest pouch. Pouch. So let's go ahead and jump right in to the small pouch from the 12 little three pouch trio. We do carry the three pouch trio at thesensiblemama.com. Like I said, it comes with three pouches, thus trio. Um, it retails for $39 and it comes in three different prints. The one I'm going to be showing you today is the gray stripe print. So this is the smallest pouch. It's clear and see-through, which I absolutely love. It does have the vegan leather trim. Um, it has D-rings over here on one side, which makes this really great for attaching a short strap, which does come with the set, which is awesome. So the first way that I have this packed is how I usually use this pouch, and that is as a medical kit. And if you're a new mom who is just learning how to pack a medical kit, this is what I tend to pack in here. Now I want to go ahead and say that I usually carry gripe water with me as well, and I used to stick my big bottle of gripe water in here, but unfortunately, because the gripe water is just a little bit too big for this pouch, it actually, I like really, really forced the zipper to go and I caused the uh, stitching to come out up here. So I don't recommend putting a bottle of gripe water in here if you have an infant. I would just say put that somewhere else because the gripe water does not fit super well in this pouch. But basically what I have in here is um, infant Tylenol. I do have a teething daughter. I have two different syringes, one that I keep in the plastic, it's not open yet, um, it's just in case I have to, like, if, in case, I don't know, my toddler needs some Tylenol as well, I can use this for him and I don't have to make my children share a syringe. Um, I have got some nail clippers in here, a couple of shout wipes, because I am, I'm really bad with the dropper for the Tylenol, so I always end up getting this on my children and myself. So I like to have shout wipes to get us both clean. Um, I have quite a few band-aids in here. We are in the toddler stage, so we're getting a lot of scraped knees. Some uh, infant Q-tips. I have a backup passy in here for my daughter. She, here come more Q-tips. Um, she usually has a passy attached to her with a passy clip, but I like having a spare in here just in case. And then aside from just some remaining band-aids and uh, Q-tips in there, I also have my Neosporin on the go. I like this because it just sprays right out of here with one quick little click and uh, it's just nice and neat. It's never going to leak or spill and I love that. So those are some ideas for how I like to pack a medical kit inside of the small 12 little pouch. Let me move on to the next way. If you are a planner girl, you might really like using the small pouch for your planning needs. Now everyone is going to pack a planner pouch differently based on your needs. What I have in here is just a couple of pin gems and a sharpie. Some scissors for cutting down paper and things like that. A few uh, washies that I was using in this week's spread. And then some headers that came in my planner society kit which I've not put on my uh, planner yet as well as a whole bunch of die cuts, some page flags, and things like that. Um, and I love keeping all this stuff in here because usually when I sit down to set up my planner for the month, I don't actually end up having time to put all of the decorations in there. Um, but sometimes I'm out and about when I don't have my kids on those rare occasions. Um, and I wanna kind of work on decorating my planner a little bit. I love using this pouch because I can see everything in there. That means that I don't have to dump everything out. Like if I'm at Starbucks, I don't have to take all these things out of the pouch and spread them out on the table. I can just really quickly look through and find what I'm looking for because it is see-through. So I really enjoyed this as a planner pouch for sure. Up next is how I like to use this on days that I am using my stroller and I have my 12 little stroller caddy attached to the stroller. There's a really great little pocket in the front of the stroller caddy which I love using for my wallet and phone and I'll show you how this fits in there in a minute but this is just the perfect little pouch for quickly grabbing out anything that you need related to yourself like your wallet and your phone. Um, so what I have in here is a Duchess Be Charged by Jujube with my driver's license and cards and all like that. Then I have a um, coin purse over here that has cash, coins, and gift cards and stuff like that. 
And back here, I can actually fit my cell phone. My iPhone 8 Plus fits in here as well, but I'm using it to record. This phone is actually deactivated now, but I wanted to show you that it does fit. Um, and what I like is that, like if I'm at uh, a theme park or the aquarium or something where I have tickets to enter different areas of the, the attractions. I can actually put my tickets right here. You can see them through the clear plastic and that way when I have to show someone my tickets, I can pull this right out of the stroller caddy, let them see the tickets from inside of this little pouch and I don't have to worry about pulling out the, the passes and losing them or anything like that. So I really enjoy this on those days that I'm using the stroller caddy. Here's the stroller caddy. Um, I've got it zoomed in really, really far, uh, but I'm just not, I don't have much time to film today, so I'm not gonna worry about trying to fix the camera angle just to show you this. But I did want you to see that the 12 little small pouch does fit right inside of this front pouch on the stroller caddy. So when this is attached to the front of your stroller, this can sit right here. You can close the flap and then you can reach into here and grab your wallet and phone and things right out of here. Of course, it might make sense to usually just like put your phone right here instead of in the pouch. But I do sometimes, if I know I'm not gonna be on my phone a lot, I like to keep it in this pouch so that that way um, I know that it is dry and safe, it's not going to get wet, and I can just pull all this right out of the stroller caddy when I'm ready to go somewhere. My daughter is in the middle of some pretty intense teething, so I also like to use this sometimes as a teething essentials kit, um, just for quickly grabbing stuff that might make her happy while she's teething. The first thing that I have in here is a Grovia cloth wipe. So I like having this inside of my little pouch just to clean up any uh, drool or spit that might have gotten all over the place. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky figuring out what will make my daughter happy while she's teething. Sometimes she just wants different things. So one thing that I have in here is a Lulu lollipop teething necklace. Sometimes she does like for me to hold her and she'll chew on these beads while they're around my neck. So that's a great option to have. But other times she doesn't want to be held. She's kind of like fussy and just wants to be left alone. So I do have another Lulu lollipop teether. This is the unicorn teether that we carry in the store as well as the um, clip that comes with it. So I can actually clip this to her shirt and she can chew on this. And I also have a passy in here just in case we really need to get her calmed down. Now one thing that I recommend which does not fit inside the 12 little pouch, but I do recommend keeping a Y pouch. Um, well, actually, okay. So a Y pouch mini will fit inside of here. I didn't think that it would, but what I have in here is actually um, pacifier wipes. Um, I get these from like Bye Bye Baby or Babies R Us. Um, and this is just great for cleaning any of these little things that your baby might be putting in their mouth. So if she happens to drop this or if I just feel like I've been touching it and my hands were gross, I can uh, clean those things off with these. These wipes are safe for baby after, after you've used it, like they can put things in their mouth that you've wiped down with this. So that's really great. And let me just see if this stuff will fit in here even with the wipe pouch mini. All right, we got the passy. Teething necklace. Teether. It's probably gonna be a stretch to get the Grovia wipe in there. Huh. All right, so good to know that you can get a wipe pouch mini in here when you have it packed for teething needs, which is pretty nice to have it all in one place. All right, and the last way that I have this packed is for mama essentials. Whether you have a machine washable bag or not, I know that we all like are so terrified to put things in our bags that might spill and cause stains because even when it's machine washable, you just don't wanna deal with that. And you still worry about just oily marks being left behind and things like that. So I really love using this pouch for little things that I like to keep with me in my bag that I know um, maybe are missing the top and I don't want them to spill in my bag. Cause if they spill in here, my bag is protected and this I can just wipe out and get it nice and clean. So I've really been enjoying that. Um, so it's summertime, I like having stuff that feels good on my skin. A lot of times when I'm out with my kids, I don't have makeup on and I love using this brilliantly brightening day cream. Um, I got this from Grove Collaborative. It's a subscription box that I use for cleaning essentials, but they also have skincare and hair care and things like that. And this just feels so good on my face, especially during the summer. So this is a nice thing to just put on my face while I'm out and I need a little bit of a refresher. I do have my foundation in here just in case I want to just make my skin look a little bit less scary while I'm out. 
Uh, I have curly hair and I straighten it, so usually about halfway through the day in the hot southern humidity, my hair starts to get frizzy. So I also like this radically rejuvenating argan oil. Um, this I can just like pump a little bit into the palm of my hand, put it into my hair, and it actually soothes some of that frizziness. And uh, it just, like I said, makes me look a little bit less frazzled while I'm out. And then the only other two things that I keep in here are some lip gloss and some chapstick. Again, you know how easily these little things can come undone and it just sucks when your lipstick gets inside your bag. So this little pouch here is really great for keeping all of that stuff out of my bag. So guys, that is it for this week's Five Ways Wednesday. I hope this gave you some ideas for using the small pouch in your 12 little three pouch trio. If you don't already have this, I'd love for you to check it out with me at thesensiblemama.com. Um, be on the lookout next week for the medium size pouch which I'll be showing all packed up in five different ways. Love you, mean it always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.